Hi Connected Backers! Today I wanted to make a video for you about backup batteries. A lot of you have asked me in the past, well what happens in a power outage? Well of course you need a backup battery to keep your system running in case the power goes out. And as many of you are, are aware, traditional alarm systems come with a big bulky lead acid backup battery, but for Connected I wanted a, a modern and easy to use alternative so I sourced these amazing mini UPS DC backup batteries from China. I just got in my first shipment and I want to show you how they work. One of the key benefits of these and the reason I chose the B300C for the connected backup batteries is because there's no switch, no buttons, and it's impossible to screw it up. You just plug it in and it automatically delivers power when something is plugged into it. Now the way that they do that is there's an internal switching mechanism inside the battery that detects if something is plugged in and, and drawing power from the output port. Now there was a problem when I got these a couple weeks ago and I tested them out with the connected devices. Turns out that the connected boards use so little power when they go into standby mode it drops down to as low as 30 milliamps which is not quite enough to meet the threshold for the switching mechanism in the B300C. So it was automatically shutting off. Obviously that's not good. So of course I contacted the company and they're rushing me a new order to fix that problem. But all hope is not lost. These still work great for many other devices in your house. The, your 12 volt uh, cable modems, Wi-Fi routers, and anything else really that runs off of a 12 volt power supply. It's very simple to hook up. We just unplug the power adapter from the cable modem and then take that power adapter and plug it into the input port of the battery. And you'll see the red light will blink a little bit. It turns green when it's fully charged. Now we use the included uh, little pigtail cable to go from the output port of the battery backup to the in to the power port of the cable modem and it powers on and you'll see this green light on the battery is indicating that it's providing power. The smart key did send me a sample of the new devices which they've re-engineered to put in a more sensitive switching mechanism so these absolutely will work for the connected devices and they're on the airplane from China right now rushing to get here in, in time for me to fulfill these orders to you guys. Um, this is an example of it. It's not branded yet. They sent me a sample and it just works in the same way. Here are my connected devices here on the table. You can see that they're plugged into this power adapter. I'm just going to unplug the power adapter from the connected device, put that into the input port of the back battery. It'll blink a couple times. It's fully charged. And then just use one of the included cables to plug the battery into the connected devices and you see they power on and these should stay powered on <clears throat> indefinitely even throughout a power outage. So let's test what happens in case of a power failure. I've got my cable modem hooked up to my backup to the backup battery and I've got my other backup battery for my connected devices and I'm going to just cut the power to the um, power strip here. You see everything stays on. You notice on the backup battery the charge light has gone out but the uh, power or the work light is still on and this should remain on for several hours. The connected device is even longer. Um, when I did a test a few months back I was able to run my entire alarm system off of one of these batteries for about 14 hours. The cable modem, the Wi-Fi is going to use a little bit more power so that's going to not last quite as long. When the power comes back on it's like nothing happened, they quickly recharge and everything stays powered without interruption. The other night I chatted with my sales rep from Smart Key Power on Skype. Uh, her name is Kitty and they're very excited to have connected customers as their customers as well. Their new B300C backup battery, we're, I'm the first to import these to the United States so they're very excited about that and they want to make sure that you guys all will enjoy them. So. 
Let's go look at that video from the our company uh, called uh, Smarty Power Company and manufacturer for mini UPS, UPS and inverter and solar system and so on. And so uh, uh, I'm the kitty. <laughs> uh, look at here. This is B three hundred C. Yes, the new version. Hey guy, come here. <laughs> <laughs> And now first, uh, we will show you the Wi-Fi router. Okay. Now, connect connect the three hundred C. Yes. Um, light on. Right. Can you see? I can see it. Yes. Yeah. We can show you. This is light. Okay. Light. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I did, uh, I remember last Friday. That's right. I ship. Yes, and you and we uh, start to produce on fifteenth, fifteenth, okay. yeah, this month, and we deliver last last Friday okay. because you are urgent order. So hmm. I arranged, <laughs> I arranged to produce quickly. Great. Well, I know that my customers are going to appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, this this one is our new version, uh, the update of the GM three one two. So and the price and the quality and the power will be a little better. Uh, for uh be before than the uh GM three one two. Um, but the different is the B three hundred C without the switch, but the GM three one two with. And the power is 30 watts, but the GM312 is about 24 watts. I have 500 of these batteries now that work great for cable modems and Wi-Fi routers, but won't work for your connected device, and I need them to go to good homes. So um, what I'm going to do is knock the price down a little bit to $30 um, if you order it with your connected device or shipped with your connected device. So. Go to my website, connected.io. There's a link in the bottom of this video. How do you know if your cable modem or Wi-Fi router is compatible with these batteries? Well, it's easy. Just go find the power adapter for your device and look at the markings on the back or on the front. What you're looking for is an output of 12 volts DC and anything up to 2.5 amps. That's 2,500 milliamps. These also make great portable power banks for your cell phone or any USB power device. It does have a USB port on here and this USB port delivers up to 2 amps of power to uh, your USB power device. So it can really quickly charge your phone. Just plug that in and plug that in and as there are no buttons or anything like that it just automatically starts delivering power and my phone's being charged. If you're really serious about keeping your home automation running and your home protected during a power outage, it is really important to make sure that your connected devices, as well as your Wi-Fi router and modem, all have a backup battery. Now, not all modems or, power, or, or Wi-Fi routers will work with the 12 volt DC, but many of them will. Make sure you check the power adapter. If it doesn't work, there are some other recommendations on my website for off-the-shelf UPS devices that you can buy.